ゼロ円だったらね、あの、住めるんだったらもういいやみたいなね。If you're renting to somebody, the house is being used and is no longer a vacant house. Welcome to the Lazy Fluency Podcast, where we have casual conversations which is between English and Japanese so that you can learn from and with us along the way. I'm Joey. And I'm a Yami. And the topic of the day is free Japanese housing. But before we get into that, make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and or drop a review whatever platform you're listening on. We appreciate the support. And now, with that out of the way, free Japanese housing. You could get a house in Japan for free, but what is the catch? Today, we're talking about Well, this made news, or maybe I saw it on YouTube、uh, videos talking about it, but I think this has technically been a thing since 2015.、Uh, just fun fact for everybody in 2018, there were surveys done, to, or I guess data was looked at to figure out how much of Japan was filled with akia, which are basically vacant houses. And it turns out that, that was 13.6% of all houses in Japan, which is equal to 8,489,000 homes. Oh, yeah.、Mm. I mean, Were you, were you aware of any of this? I know this topic.、Uh, I brought it up. I think you were like, no, there's no way this is a thing. But、uh, what, what was your general impression learning about this as you, I guess, prepared for the episode? Well, I think it's a good thing. 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 Yeah, that's crazy.、ね、Over one in ten houses are not occupied.、ね多分あれだね、見た目がちゃんとしてても実際人が住んでないのとか多かったりあと、まあそうだね、空き家っぽい家だったらまあわかるけどねそうまあびっくりした。I wonder if, if the numbers increase So I have two thoughts One, in places like Tokyo they're probably building more houses in the first place、うん So, because of that, I wouldn't be surprised if there are Akiya in Tokyo just because they're trying to build so much housing to accommodate people. But by the same token, a lot of people are going to Tokyo.、Mm. Whereas if you're living in rural Japan, I feel like a much larger percentage of the houses have to be Akiya just because people are all getting brain drained to Tokyo.、Mm. Yeah. So, anyways,、うん、so as to how you can get this for free, or what, what's up with this whole situation, the government's actually trying to fix this situation.、Uh, and this situation applies to many different things. One, there's an underpopulation problem,、うん、or could, you could also,、uh, was it, shoshkoreka? So,、うん、less children,、uh, increasing age problem,、うん、like trying to translate i n g that literally. And there's also a problem of people not. Living in other places that aren't really big cities, mainly just Tokyo. Like, obviously, there are Osaka and other places, but generally speaking, Tokyo kind of consumes all of your like Japan's brightest.、Uh, and the more opportunities you have in Tokyo, the more people go to Tokyo, which creates this ever increasing problem. Just a minute, I'm going to say, 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 なんか、まあ、住んでる人も,もちろんね多いよ多いけどなんか東京ってさやっぱり住む,の住むのがさちょっと高いのよだからみんなその周り埼玉千葉神奈川とかに住んでそっから通勤してる感じだからあのベッドタウンって言われるのね東京を周りになんかドーナツ状にあの住んでるエリアのことだから多分マジョリティはその近隣の県に住んでると思うから。Mm. Yeah, the, my point, the, yeah, that is, that's true from, as far as I know. My point is not people are literally、uh, living in Tokyo. It's kind of like in California, you'll hear people say, people say they're from Los Angeles or LA,、mm. but they really mean they're in a very large circumference of LA. And the reason they say that is because everybody is the main central focus of commerce, is, commerce and everything else is in LA.、Oh. So for Tokyo, if Tokyo wasn't there,、mm. there would not be as many people living around、mm. Tokyo, mm. if that makes sense, right? The, the reason they're there is because of Tokyo.、Mm. And so that's one of the problems. Like, for example, the government's wanting development not just in Chiba or Saitama or the other prefectures near Tokyo, but let's say like Aomori or Akita、mm. or Shikoku or literally anywhere that's not、uh, Tokyo.、Mm. And so they, they had all these problems. And one of the solutions, which was、uh, I think end of 
or beginning of 2015. If well, sorry, 2014th, November 27th, or I just read it the Japanese date style way. Uh, but they made an Akia Taisaku, which is like an Akia countermeasure, countermeasure, so vacant home countermeasure. And I'm if you want to explain it, or ah, I can give okay. it, uh, and I can cover it afterwards. あの、so I mean I could I'll just I'll repeat that. So ba basically currently in Japan land mm. is more expensive to own by itself like unused land is more expensive than having to pay for just the um land tax or so not land tax but taxing on a house like an estate tax a property tax. So, 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 so. so if you if you have a house and you demolished it you would actually have to pay more tax or more money due to land tax the land would be reclassified versus just keeping the house as it stands so this is until 2014 where they or end of 2014 where they made policy changed and then what happened to ime ah so nanka sono ma ne akia o nokoshita hou ga zeki wa kakaranai dakara minna nokoshitai jan ne de mo sono tokute akia te yutte nanka sono kore ni shite sareru to na iroiro jokien ga anda kedo それにして、そう。So yeah. basically, if you had a house and you want these many people who had a house, mm -hmm. if if you had this, oh, I guess something I should mention is if you had a house that you weren't living in, a vacant house, you would have to pay a certain amount of property tax. And assuming your house was in good condition, uh, given this new ordinance that was put into place, you would get a tax, like a, what do you call Menze A kind of tax ex exemption, which would make your taxes one-sixth of what it would be under a full Akia designation, which is a full vacant house. So I'm not entirely sure all the things that go into this, but I'm assuming it's like if your walls are falling apart, so, if the interior is looking so, bad, if nobody's living in there, which is one, one, one portion in. Yeah. And if you fall, if it falls into one of those things, it gets redesignated as the full akia, the bad akia, mm. and you no longer get the the six times discount on your uh, tax. And now, and in effect, you have to pay six times more taxes than you did previously. So, and a lot of people did not care about their akias or vacant homes because they live somewhere else. And the only reason that they didn't get rid of it was because it was just cheaper to maintain it like it was instead of using it for land. Mm. And the idea of this behind the government is, okay, well, if people now have to pay six times the amount of tax for their unkept houses, two things will happen. Either one, the government will buy the house, or they'll be forced to sell the house to the government, which is buy kyoku, or they have to do something with the house or the land. They have to turn it into a, a business, or it, here's where we get to this situation. Oh, no. So, no, the government doesn't. So, if they want to sell the... Remember, people own these houses. So, if they if they don't... If they want to pr avoid having an increase in taxes, mm. or they can't afford it, they only have so many options. Um, so, if you can't afford it, then you need to do something. You either need to sell the house, or you need to make that land profitable. So, and one way to do that is to... Obviously, you can make it into a business or something, whatever. Mm. Or you could rent it to somebody. Mm. Uh, and if you're renting to somebody, the house is being used and is no longer a vacant house. Mm. And here is where we get to this whole free housing um, situation that we're going in. And it's not exactly as it sounds because everything in the world has a catch, but it also isn't a lie either. It is not a scam. It's not like this is some fake thing. There's a uh, lot in like... 
ぱいでも完全にゼロってわけじゃないけどね。なんかいろいろあるんですよ。It depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. Do you want, do you want to give some of the. I guess, there's, a bunch of different, there's a bunch of different categories that you could be in. But for those people thinking, hey, I would love to find some place, way, place to live in Japan, this may or may not be up your alley for something you could realistically do. And even for those who this does not fall under, I will give, at the, as we get towards the end of the section, some advice for other ways you can stay in Japan for cheap. But I mean, do you want to give, let's say,、um, what, what is your understanding of like, how the free or the zero in、um, rentals work or ah, okay, okay. The, these akiyas? ゼロ円だからっつってみんな飛びつくじゃん。おゼロ円だったらね、あの住めるんだったらもういいやみたいなね。そうだったらお得だけど、でも実際なんだろう、その写真見た感じだと結構ボロいんだよね。もまあ物によるけど、結構割とボロいんだよ。で、I've seen some pretty decent looking ones though. <笑> yeah. で、そのなんかあとも、なんか物があんまり片付いてなくて、その住んでた時のまま。の状態をあのそのままにしてる感じとかもあったり、yeah. ね多分そのかか買うんじゃないかもう0円でもらったとしてもその後の手入れでお金かかるあとすごいボロかったらあの修,修理リフォームしないといけないとか、yeah. なんかいろいろもろもろ込み込みで考えるとなんか最初プラマイゼロかなと思ったんだけど割とマイナスになるんじゃないかなと思って、あのー、ね、その、リフォームして結構お金かかったりとかね。まあ、あと、もう一つは、結構これは、あのー、東京の、あのー、都会の真ん中とか絶対ないから、田舎なのね、こういうのあるのは。で、そうすると、田舎。It's not... ん、oh, go ahead. あ、そう、田舎だとさ、まあ、田舎暮らし、本当に好きな人はいいけど、あの割と便が悪い場所とかだとねあの結構困るのかなっていうそのなんだろう駅まで2時間ドライブしないといけないとか山奥でスーパーから1時間、ね、もうするみたいなまあ場所によるね。I don't think it's that bad for the majority of cases. And so I guess something I'll say is there are generally two categories that these Akia or Akia Rentaru, or it's like my home, which I found as well as another way that people referred to this, or maybe I'm misunderstanding that, which is one, you're getting it from the government. And by the government, I mean like a local government of a prefecture.、Mm-hmm. Or two, somebody is trying to get rid of their home or they're trying to rent their home. So these are kind of the three different categories. I guess you have to decide whether you're doing buyers, buying, buying or renting and whether you're talking about. From a government or from a private citizen. And so I guess I'll cover the government case just to give you an example. So, with, with the government, it depends, it depends on the prefecture. But one of the cool things is,、um, I, I guess we'll go with positive first, is that for a lot of prefectures, and I think it said Hokkaido was listed in this and、mm-hmm. one of the articles we looked at, you will literally be given money up to like a hundred, if I miss, I'm mistaking, I think it's like straight up a hundred thousand dollars as part of.、Uh, On top of being given the, let's say, free either land or housing. In some cases, they'll give you the free land or whatever. But and the catch is you have to be able to move immediately to the location because they're not just trying to give away housing, they're trying to repopulate different sectors and prefectures. So, one, a lot of cases you need to be able to move. Two, as IME mentioned, you're not, most of these are in, are in fairly rural locations.、Mm-hmm. As far as I can tell, Two hour drive is a little unrealistic. A lot of them say like they're 15 or 20 minute drives to get to、um, a train station. Yeah. Which in yeah, America yeah. is like. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I looked at it. I looked at, yeah, the, I looked at the website. <laughs> want, me to, want me to pull up the website? I was looking at.、Uh, I'll put a link in the description, but it's called zero.estate.、Um, and it has a lot of them listed there. And here we go. Yeah. JR. I don't know if this is pronounced, but. Some eki kara kuruma de jugo fun. Well, then, 4分、10分、14分、9分、4分、14, 4分、8分、7分。でも条件悪かったら書かないよ、多分。<笑>書いてるやつは条件いい,い。Yeah. <笑> yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so you can, obviously, you can get straight in, in the rural Japan.、Mm-hmm. So a lot of these 
are going to be more further. But to my Americans out there, driving 20 minutes to somewhere, you're already used to that. So like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, there's no difference. You're sure. basically, it's the same thing. Uh -huh. But the the more important catch though, is for a lot of them, if you're, if you're looking to buy or live long-term, then it's actually fine. But for a lot of the instances, I'm not sure how much you need to commit, but it's on top of moving a lot of the, how, um, situations i was looking at that they you actually be able to actually get the land permanently for free but you have to live there for like 20 to 25 years which isn't something that i think realistically most people are looking to do yeah for for a lot of if you're trying to buy them if you're trying to rent rent them then i don't that doesn't happen as much but it seems like renting is a mixed bag where if you're renting from a private citizen, a lot of the times that you only get free rental for like the first three months and then you have to pay at normal renting prices. Mm. And if if the, if that is not the the case, then I'm not entirely sure what benefit the owner is getting because obviously they get the tax exemption, but they still have to, the house still needs to be maintained to a certain degree. Um, so they, they'd probably have to be more of a landlord. But mm. um, yeah, it seems like, if if you're buying, there are a lot of like free options, but you have to make pretty large commitments. One, not living in a populated place and also moving moving to a more rural part in Japan. So, yeah. And also doing that for a longer period of time. And then th there's a thing that you mentioned as well, which is a lot of them have a commitment for a lot of these akia that have been completely unattended where the government will la give them to you, but you actually need to commit to rebuilding a house. So, うん、ね。多分あれこれいいなと思ったのは多分お、まあ、お金がある人でさ、なんか別荘とか建てたい人は、あの、いいんじゃない<笑> Well, to to my Americans out there who I guess live in anywhere that's not New York or California, I feel like you'll know what I'm talking about. And I was just uh I I was just seeing this today as I was going around uh town. But in America you have a lot of farmland and what you'll notice as you go and drive past farmland, you'll just have nothing. It's just all farmland and then boom, mansion plopped in the middle of it. Then boom, another mansion plopped in the middle of farmland. And Obviously, it doesn't have to be the extent of a mansion, but realistically speaking, if you don't have a bunch of relatives that you're really close to, let's say in the United States, if you have a job that you can do online that you think you could actually get a work visa for or something, whether it be Japan, and you really like living, it's not even that solitary necessarily compared to America. It's a lot of a lot of places are just as similar, just as inconvenient. So if you're used to a life of inconvenience in America, you could, in effect, just do the same thing in Japan countryside and build your dream Japan home. And in a lot, and like I said, depending on the prefecture, get up to like a hundred k to do it. From my understanding, obviously. Well, yeah, obviously, I think it's intended for that, but I don't see there's any reason other than the... So I, I, I wrote here in our document, hurdles. So one of them being getting a visa that would allow you to live for a sufficient amount of time. You also have to ensure like you have an income, but that's kind of tied to the, the visa. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, I think it's very well known, but it's hard to rent an apartment in Japan if you are a foreigner. I've heard. Yeah. I've I've heard though it's easier to buy one because if you buy a home, then the landlord doesn't incur any responsibility because I mean you buy the home. You you're buying the home. なんかこれのその地方がまあそうなんていうの若い人来てほしいからあのじゃこういうね条件のね無料で貸し出せる土地とか家がありますつって。
その目的とちょっと違うから受け付けてもらえない。I have seen, I have some seen videos on YouTube of foreigners taking advantage of this policy. So that's, I will say that. But I think there were rentals. They were taking advantage of, the, of some of the,、uh, the uh, rentals, where basically it's a lot cheaper rent. So another thing I didn't mention is if you're not getting a straight free home, A lot of people, like I said, are still heavily incentivized to get people, anybody in the property, so they don't have to sell it off.、Mm. So, but instead of making it free, they'll, I mean, this is my assumption, they'll make it very cheap so that it can at least cover the, the amount that they're having to pay to uphold the land. But they're, they're not really making that much money. Like, there's a video on YouTube, I think it said, like, one year of living in a house is like only $300 per year、um, or something like that. I don't know how long it is.、Um, For their stay, like I said, is from my understanding, if if the government owns a land, a lot of the stuff they're trying to do is get people, get permanent residences,、uh, permanent re- or not permanent residents, get people who intend to live like for a long time in other prefectures, as opposed to doing like short rentals at like d- huge discounts.、Mm. Uh, w- so, I mean, I th- as far as I know, I didn't say like if you're a foreigner, you can't do it. There's a, but there's already a lot of barriers just to getting in Japan and working、ね、there in the first place. So, 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 Ideal. But at, the, but at the end of the day, like, I don't think it's a realistic expectation at all to expect. Oh, I'm going to get a free house in Tokyo?、Uh, like in central Tokyo? Yeah, central Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah. So,、um, for those people who've heard anything about this, that's kind of like the situation.、Yeah. But there are two things I want to cover, which is I guess you kind of already, you, you already covered one part of this, but. Realistically speaking, how rural are we talking about if you're living in a rural place in Japan? As Aimi said, you'll have to drive to a lot of places. But an- another thing, and if you're like, I don't know, if you're an American, you might already be used to this,、uh, you're not going to have a lot of amenities in general. Because in other places in Japan, I feel like one of the biggest benefits of Japan is that you can walk, like, Aimi, from your place, you can walk to pretty much every possible thing you could want within like a five minute walk. まあ、Whether it be restaurants, like health related、uh, stuff,、um, uh, hardware store. Yeah, but I don't know. 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 飲食店とか絶対あった方がいいし、そのドラッグストアとかね、スーパーとか絶対近くあった。Yeah, I'm, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, but if you're living in like super rural Japan, it's literally probably going to be the, the equivalent of you, you won't see anybody in a while. Maybe you'll see people walking outside of their house in the morning cleaning their street, but at least some of the ones I've seen, like if you look on like the websites, they're just kind of houses. That looked like one of the things that it was noted when I looked at the plan for why it was like a secondhand account. So I'm not sure if the government believed this, but why this, this was, whole system was implemented is because a lot of people have a scary image of Akia. They associate them with horror or something, is what it said. So, like, uh, horror-映画のなんか舞台となって遊びでさ、Akia に入りましたと夜にね。で、肝試しで入って、あの、お化けが出るみたいな。<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, I don't know how much that realistically has. And, and I, the idea would be if you get people living in them and re renovating them or, or force a higher quality,、mm-hmm. it'll increase the, the desirability of that house, which will maybe make people more likely to want to move there.、ね、But there's something else I want to mention while we still have some more time in section. If this all seems like It's not really applicable to you. You don't have a job that you could do remotely. And the reason I mentioned remotely is like you're going to be living probably in a very rural location.、Mm-hmm. And if you don't have a way to get rem- remote work, then I, I don't even know how somebody who's not Japanese would even begin to try to get a job in the rural America. <laughs> I'm sorry, rural Japan with no other ties. But,、uh, if you, but if you still want to go to Japan for cheap, there is a more 
much reason, more reasonable program. I mean, I don't know if I've ever talked to you about this, but it's called the Wolf Program. Wolf. W O O F. Wolf. 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 The wolf. Like wolf, like a dog, like one.、Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I can't remember what it stands for, off the top of my head.、Would、but I think it's a worldwide program as well.、Oh. It's like World, something something for farmers, I think. But in、okay. short, if you meet these requirements, you are above the age of fifteen, and you can you can pay for a plane ticket to Japan,、mm. and I think you pay a fifty dollar membership fee to be part of Wolf.、Uh, Then you can annually. go. Yeah, but I think as long as you're doing, you know, what I'm saying, if you're not planning on using it, you don't have to pay the fee.、Uh. Uh, if you meet those requirements, then when you enter Japan, you can basically contact Wolf, your agency,、mm. and what they'll do is they'll place you in some region of Japan. I don't know exactly how much control you get. I read that you can get control over if you want to do it with like、um, a friend or family.、Mm. If you want to do woofing with a friend or family, they can help you arrange that. But the idea is that you will end up、uh, working like in the morning or I don't know some some part of the week with a, a family that's either farming or doing some sort of small business. I know pe- some people that、I've, my friends have done it and ended up staying at a cafe、mm. in rural Japan or like semi-rural Japan,、mm. and they'll take care of your housing, they'll take care of your food and other stuff like that, and you work part. Yeah, it's like a homestay, exactly.、Mm. But the bar is really low, and you can do it as much as you want, as as long as you're within the the、uh, three months that、mm. a tr- tourist visa or lack of visa gets you in、uh, Japan.、Mm-hmm. So at any period that you could normally travel, instead, and you wanted to let's say spend a longer time in Japan, or let's say you want to see if you like rural Japan,、mm. you can. Applied for a wolf program or for a wolf program, wolf. and、ah. anytime you go to Japan, you be hey, I'm in Japan or going to Japan. And I'm like, okay, cool. We can pair you up with some family in rural Japan, whether it be farming or cafe, <laughs> whatever, whatever. De- depending on the family, it says like you you don't actually need to speak any Japanese to do this. But I mean, if you if you're listening to this prod podcast, you definitely probably know enough、uh, to help or at least. To do your best when you're there, but I've never personally done it. I know people who've done it. No,、uh, except for except for the plane ticket, except for the plane ticket. But for room,、uh, board, food, no. But you are working though, like during the mornings. A lot of times it's farming, so like you'll have to wake up like four in the morning. But for me personally, that's awesome because you、yeah. you're done working so early. You basically have the whole day. No. これいいんじゃないですか。多分やりたい人多いと思うよ。あの旅行ついでにも、いや、です。旅行ついでに来れる、来れるのかわかんないけど。<笑> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. You literally can. What for? How much you want to do it? You can do it. Once you, that's why it's like a, that's why it's like a membership thing. Like once you're part of it, if you're just in Japan, they can be like, oh yeah, we'll position you over here or over here. Also, if you like talking, just to. People meeting new families or whatever,、mm. uh, it's really cool, especially for homestay experience.、Nah. Obviously, homestay experiences are highly dependent on the family you get.、Yeah. ね、but with that said, it's definitely <laughs> I feel like a much more realistic option for most people than this whole Akia program. Uh, uh. So yeah. Um, let us know if、uh, we encouraged you or motivated you with either the Akia program or the Wolf program, and are the, are they any of them interesting to you? Do you think there's something you might actually want to try in the future? Modorima, stop. Yes, we're back. So I think I will start.、Mm. Yeah.、Uh, so I had this friends group. Yeah, and they're、mm. leaving today. Yeah, back in America, so they were visiting here. So one friend,、uh, who was an exchange student, came to、mm. my university like one point five months ago, and then after he、uh, finished、uh, rotation, he、uh, invited his friends to Japan, and then he took like two weeks. Yeah. Of、um, trip in Japan, and then I hang、uh, hung out uh, with 
uh, friends. So, like,、mm. the thing I found hanging out with them was some,、um, like, I found a lot of,、uh, like, fun places in Japan. Like, for example, I went to Tsukiji or Ikebukuro or Harajuku, like, where I don't, I don't normally go. So, like, In Tsukiji, I had this、um, tuna like for the first time. It was like. It, Tsukiji, wa doko? Tsukiji is near、uh, Ginza. Ah, Ginza. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it's like Ginza a. No fish market. So, Ginza no setsu. Ginza wa. Ah, Tsukiji wa. So, so, so. So, no, you may know. Nan de s t a k e Nihon go de Sakana no nan toka. It's famous for you know, fish and like, seafood stuff. And then, yeah, like as a Japanese person, I've never been there. Yeah.、Mm. So, like, that was a、um, new experience. And I had this good, 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 like, very, very fatty tuna. Yeah. So, like, that was so good. うん、行ったことないけど、その築地に行くときは、あの、4時とか3時半から行った方がいいという、まあ、アドバイスを一応聞いたことがあるんだけど。Oh, yeah, yeah, so crowded. Like, especially,、uh, so I went there yesterday and. いつからその、一日の。Around lunch time, like 11, 12, 12、12, yeah. PM. So, that was どれぐらい混んでる<笑> ?It was on Saturday. So, yeah, like、うん、lots of lots of Japanese and like foreigners, both of them. Yeah. What kind of thing? I don't know. 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 And then they'll give you,、mm. uh, give it to uh, you, like in front of you.、Uh, like、they, so, for example, if you want to eat sushi, they prepare in, fr- in front of you and then they like, provide like, at the counter. Ah. Nanka, what I see, I'm not going to eat the food. I'm not going to eat the food. No, 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 no. It's like, tabe aruki kind of stuff. How do you say tabe aruki? Eating, walking and eating. Walking and eating. There's no like. Ma, so, tabe aruki to you guy n a m e one. Yes, so. Kara kita to munda kara. Yes, so. Ma, tabe aruki wa America jing a futsu ni are koto to 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 to. So, yeah. So, no, to kubetsna koto ba ga hitsu de wa nai ka mo. And also, like, when I go to Ikebukuro with my、uh, Japanese friends, I don't know what to do, but. I found some. Jerry Jerry Cafe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check out our Jerry Jerry Cafe video, by the way. Oh, yeah, so that's the Ikebukuro, some Jerry Jerry store. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah.、Mm. But yeah, like, so, oh, so if you're listening to podcasts, I recommend going to uh, Nin, uh, Pokemon no store in Sunshine City in Ikebukuro. And there's.、Uh, えっと、ポケモンストアとか、ワンピースストアとか、あれです、ニンテンドーストア、あれです。いや、私、行ったことあるんだっけそこ。いや、あるんだっけ池袋の。いや、いや、next time you yeah, come to Japan, you should go, yeah. But anyways, yeah. Yeah. I had a good, good experience. Yeah. まあ、よかったね。Yeah. でまあ、私に関してはもちろん東京に行かなかったんだけど初めて阿弥陀佐岳探しに行った阿弥陀佐岳は何というのもう、How do you read this? Moral m o r a l mushrooms Moral Moral mushrooms Moral Moral アメリカ、まあ、聞いたことある人はいると思うんだけどそのアメリカ人に関しては<笑>いやい,いると思う、うん。このモラルマッシュルームズは意外と有名。なぜ有名かというと、珍しい。それが一応珍しい。なぜか珍しいかというと、その、なんていうか、店で買えない。そのなんていうか、その農場としては、その
どうやってモラルマッシュルームズを入るかそれそのなんか疑問が今まで続いてる。What do you mean by それどなんか例えばその魚に関してはあのそのファームドフィッシュとかあるでしょその海じゃなくてあのた例えば建物の中の養殖その養殖、うんうん、そう養殖があるでしょ、うん、でもこのアミガサタケに関してはまあ一応なんか去年そのスウェーデンの研究者によるとあのなんていうか屋内でのやり方があの見つけられたんだけどそのやり方はまだあの誰も知らないからあの今の時点でその自然なんか以外のところにいないこのアミガサタケ本当になんかしハイキングして自分で見つけないと他のところからもらえない。野生のキノコじゃないといけないってことね。そう、野生しかダメ。うんうんうん。まあ、should be wild というか、それ以外の選択肢ほぼないってこと。Oh, okay, okay. まあ、それはなぜ有名かというと。でも、その、アメリカでも誰でもできる。その森があれば、その、ただ、その、何でしたっけあの、一番人気の場所、その、モラルマッシュンだと、まあ、森で、最近あの、火事があったところ。なんかわかるそのフォレストファイルとか、うん。でも、その火事の後で、あのそのなんていうか、焼かれた木の下で、木の下にやって、あの小さいなんか脳みたいなキノコ。え、見たことあるそのモラルマッシュム、写真とかは。い、う、や、ん、yeah, I have。そう、like、本当になんか脳の。そうそうそうそう,そうは。たてのた細長いって入るせい、like。あ、uh,、what do you call it? Slender。Slender でちょっとなんか、なんか、しわしわ。脳みそみたい。そう、しわしわ。Looks like、そうそうそう。Brain みたいな。ひわいっぱい入ってる。ね、で,もでも、すごく美味しかった。でも、多分来週もう一度行く。あの、今年、まあ、今年じゃなくて、今日の収穫はそんなに多くなかったから。<笑>でも、とりあえず楽しかった。そのキノコ探しとか行ったことある、oh, I, I, yeah, まあ、キノコだけじゃなくて他の材料とか。I mean, like, I'm, yeah, I want to try, but it's better to ザリガニとか。エクスパート、because, yeah, in the wild, in the wild だとさ、there's like poisonous plants or like mushrooms. So we have to like distinguish, right? まあそうだけど、でも、モロマッシュルームズはけ、まあ、アミガサ、アミガサタケは結構、あの、特徴的なので。え、yeah, well, there should be like a, like a similar, ね、ポイズン。そうそう,そう、false m o r a l もあるんだけど、その結構 false m o r a l と言っても、違いが明確だと思う。So. Oh. まあ、とりあえず、それ、あの、やって、あの、楽しかったと思ったから、一応、その、今まで、モロマッシュルームズとか、アミガサタケについて何も知らなかった人、アメリカに住んでいるなら、あの多分自分の近くにある森にあるかも。Don't pick the, 友達とか。Fake. あのモラルマッシュルームそう、まあ、ネットで,で調べて、モラルマッシュルームとか。<笑>で、どうやって、どこで。How do you use them? Like, like、uh, for pasta? ス,ステーキみたいに焼け,、まあ、焼けられる焼く,焼ける,焼く焼けるそう、焼ける。そう、バッターとあのニンニクと同時に食べる。うん。まあ、そう。それ。<笑>あ、まあもう、もう一つ言いたいことは、先週、多分、先週、今週の金曜日とか土曜日、あの新しい動画アップロードしたかったんだけど、今までできてない。すいません。絶対来週の。You can't say 絶対水曜日から、yeah. like、水,水曜日から、水曜日からあのアップロードする。Okay. Yes. 今の時点でうまくいってるんだけど、思ったより時間がかかってる。すみません、みんな。頑張ってるので。そう、これから、yeah. <笑>もっと頑張らないと。Yes. 頑張れ、ジョイ。楽しみにしてください。Yeah. And we're back with the final section. And if you've made it to the final section, that means you send an email to lazyfluency at gmail.com with a comment, question, language related, and or otherwise. This week we have a question 
or I guess a response directly towards my comments from a previous episode from our MVP to commenter Shockox. And it goes as follows. I definitely don't see an issue with hiking with older women. A good chunk of my friends are people over their 50s. I say if you can't hike with young people, go hang out with the Obasans. I bet they're killer company. This kind of reminds me of a fight I need to have with a previous episode where I think Joey says something along the lines of, you can't really be friends with people far off in age because there isn't a lot of crossover between you and them. I don't remember the exact quote, and it might not have been said with so much finality, but for the sake of internet, I'm going to unintentionally mischaracterize it and then argue with that mischaracterization, mischaracterization that I invented. Old people are great. As a 25-year-old, I found out a lot. I find a lot in common with older people. And if it isn't something direct, it's finding commonality in the underlying parts rather than the superficial parts. We all experience the same things. We have all have our music that we loved growing up, the place that we hung out, the friends we all grew up and faced responsibilities as adults. We all have the things that we love, and if you approach it right, you can absolutely talk with a 60-year-old about Elden Ring, as long as you're ready to hear about their equivalent. We all have, have or have had families, and we can all reach into the other person's shoes that's a weird way to say it, and see the world from the other person's point of view. Some of my best times in recent memory are staying up with a 66-year-old drinking wine and talking about the music of our teen years, and it turns out we were both basically the same. The music is different, and I'm still going to forget who Van Morrison is, but how we feel about it and how it shaped our teen years are the same, and that's the part worth connecting over. Shockox, thank you for the long comment. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, do you have thoughts over this? I know it was a direct response to me, but... Um, I just did a lot of reading there. If you have any thoughts about friends with old people, how deep of a relationship can one make? You can't be really friends with people far off in age. The yuto, it's yuto. Well, I'll I'll respond. I'll, I'll respond to that. Okay. But I'm saying, if you have any thoughts well, first. Generally,あの、まあ、まあ、一つ多分さ、なんか小学生はさ、自分が<笑><笑> きくことでさ、あの、ね、あの、すごいプロフェッショナルだと思うから。ね、いいんじゃないですか。ま、だけど、エルゼンリングをしてる、あの、なんだ、60歳の人は見たことないけどね。なんかいるかもしれん。Yeah, <笑> okay, so now I'll so that, that's Amy's response. Yep. And so now I will uh I guess first clarify, um although although it'd be funny to say that I said such a thing with finality. Uh, if I think the full context, which I'm, I'm sure you're aware of, I think I said that it is difficult to make um, a deep friendships with older people, I'm deep. which I believe is is the comment I made. But uh, I will then, uh, let me take your comment here. I'm going to unintentionally mischaracterize your current comment and then argue with that mischaracterization that I invented. Well, uh, <laughs> with, th with that said is I think you made a lot of good points about the benefits that you can get from uh, talking to and conversing with old people. What I will now argue is all the not benefits, the downsides you get, uh, or maybe the difficulties I could say that there are with having a large age gap with uh, your relationship. O obviously, there's always a, what do you call, superficial and real characteristics or whatever you want to make however you want to make that designation like and it, it can be hard to draw the line like how i see it is yeah you both maybe if you're into music you both love what music means on like a fundamental level level you're both equally passionate about music that's fair i feel like with a lot of hobbies you can have that but for a lot of people 
I mean, I'm just going to speak for myself. For me personally, a lot of the, what would you call the commonalities with hobbies or anything are kind of like the baseline of interest for me or maybe interest of conversation. When I'm talking, for example, maybe this is good at talking about the, my, the anime conversation that I bring up where I really have found it difficult to talk to anybody that I'm actually that really close friends with about anime. And it's not because they fundamentally don't watch any anime. And this might come across as elitist, but fundamentally nobody I know is really as into anime as I'm into anime in my like friend group. And I'm not wanting to talk about like, yeah, I get it. Like somebody can watch, let's say friends and I can watch, let's say, let's say like spy family, like a more mainstream and we can both be like, wow, there was this show that made me feel really happy. But as a man who's like into a bunch of like more specific things or can get really into wanting like back in the day what I'd write these like paragraphs upon paragraphs about random sections and episodes. I was that kind of internet person. Mm. I love the details. You know what I'm saying? My friendships are built on the details. I, I, I'm not saying that there aren't details anywhere, anywhere, but I'm saying there are already enough obstacles in making a friendship. They're like a, a lot, especially nowadays, even with people your own age. But when you add in the age gap already, I just think it makes it a lot more difficult. And there are also things that societally just become more difficult to do, especially the younger you are and the older the person you're with. Like inviting them to your house, you can do it, but you're going to make it awkward for them, potentially, especially if you're young, like whatever, you're living with your parents or whatever the situation is, mm. or you're going out to a school or something where, and obviously you can ignore that, but I'm just saying, realistically speaking, certain types of meeting up will be more or less socially acceptable, regardless of how cool or whatever, like chill and reasonable the uh, relationship is. Um, and I'm not saying you shouldn't have old friends. Uh, I have made plenty over the years. Uh, it's funny. One of my best friends, I'm actually just really good friends with their mom, which sounds weird, but that is a true statement. Like, uh, friends uh, uh, and and I think I've talked about this before, but when I went to study abroad, one of the things I did for the first month of studying abroad was I went to the cafeteria and then every single day for a month, I went to the cafeteria and then found a group of two or three people and I randomly approached them for conversation. So I talked to high schoolers, college students, salary men, or people in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, uh, women, men, whatever, from all different professions aspirations all of the spectrum so i have no beef with doing that and if i'm being honest even within my same age group it's hard to find people with the same sets of hobbies and whatever i do but another thing i will say is if you're a young what's it called a young whippersnapper that's a that's a word like me especially one who's more athletic although there are super athletic people that you can find and i'm not saying there aren't uh, finding one that you get along with who's also super athletic, who's in their 60s and trying to do stuff that you're doing with a, a very young that. body also can be Sports more difficult. And a, yeah, and so that that's keep in mind, that is one way. Obviously, if we're just talking about talking conversations, that's cool. But most of my relationships, like I'm saying, that's maybe how like I meet them for the first day. Like maybe that's how I meet them, have a conversation. But at the end of the day, at least for guys, and I think we talked about this in one episode, a large part of relationship for me are, hey man, you down to play some magic. And then, you know what I'm saying? You have the thing that your communal thing that you're doing that you can engage in, and then you can have conversation over it. And if we don't fundamentally have the same thing that we like to do, like the the pretext for our our interaction, then I'm not really interested in the interaction. Because it's like, I want to play magic. I want to play this cool, way too expensive, time-consuming board game. I want to go, I don't know, let's say like some anime thing or whatever. With with hiking, I think that's one situation you could do it. And that's fair. But like I said, it's not, uh, obviously, I, I understand what you're saying. And I think you already, you understood the intention of my, uh, my comment as well. But I'm basically just saying it makes it a lot more difficult. And given how already, how difficult it is already to have a, I feel like deep or more meaningful relationship nowadays. I think having like a 40 year age gap for a lot of reasons, you, you can be in completely different places in life where let's say your schedules don't line up for whatever reason. Let's say they're, they're retired. So they actually like to do all, all their stuff on weekdays 
because there's less people mm. and they they put other op, um, obligations let's say like clubs and other stuff that they attend on the weekend so then you just can't for time reasons do the same thing they're doing or you have completely different sleep schedules which also makes sense because uh, older people tend to wait you wake up really what <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 i actually well i actually <laughs> no but i so i get a feel of the old people thing <laughs> with my other friends uh, yeah. where i can only hang out with most of my friends for a very small amount of time in the day because i wake up so early and go to sleep so late so, yeah. like a lot of my friends want to start hanging out at 9 p.m mm. and i go to sleep at like 8 39 and so i'm just saying that's one aspect of what many aspects on average that you have when you start getting older mm. and yeah i think this is all obvious to most people i'm not hating on old people um <laughs> as long as uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I think that w there was one more thing I wanted to mention related to this, but I cannot exactly remember. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully we're all on the same page with making friends with old people and the like. And you know what? If you have never struck up a random conversation with uh, an older folk, uh, a person you didn't, I don't know, a stranger, just in general, how about, how about, you uh this during this next week you find an opportunity to do so As, i mean assuming that you feel like it's safe to do so in america it seems like talking to anybody can get you shot but uh, i think it's really positive experience as, as shakak says and i've definitely had a lot of conversations that give you a lot of perspective mm. um i guess i'll i don't know if this is too dark of a story uh so i don't know maybe you want to leave a, leave maybe just don't, maybe you know i just won't mention it in general but i will say you learn a lot about the life journeys of people and it can help per put your current situation or whatever struggles you're going through into perspective um not only to know like hey at least i don't have to deal with this but also learning stories about how people overcame things that are much larger than you have to deal with and know that things will be okay and i feel like <laughs> that is something i've learned a lot by talking to people with yeah non <laughs> and yeah thanks for this yeah this week shock ox is uh, I think there was a response to Shawcock's comment. Shout out to that comment, but they both cover the same subject. Yeah. So uh, this was my response to that. Uh, make sure to write emails and comments. Uh, yeah, we appreciate them. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shawcock. That bell means we've reached the end of today's episode. Thanks for joining us in another lazy conversation towards fluency. If you have any language-related questions and are just looking for general advice, send an email to lazyfluency at gmail.com and we might respond in the next episode. Also, make sure to check out our podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and more. We'd appreciate the support. This has been Joey. And Yami. Signing off. Jani. Jani.